Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video for you guys that was highly, highly, highly requested, which is a hair update, hair maintenance, bleaching the roots. You guys are always requesting me this type of updates. Seems like a topic that you guys are really, really interested on. And if you're not new here, you probably know that I did a lot of hair videos already. I bleached half of my hair here on camera on YouTube for the first time and then I've been updating you guys every time that I do something different like changing the color and everything. I do everything at home from uh, bleaching, dyeing it and cutting it. I'm not a hair expert, I'm not a pro, but I really like doing hair at home. I just got used to it. I think I'm not like the worst but I'm not a pro either and I really like to experiment so sometimes it goes good and sometimes it goes bad. But either way now that I have a YouTube channel I like to share with you every time that I do something but of course you can get this hair done professionally and you'll probably be better off with that but if you're like me and like experimenting and want to know how I do this at home you just keep on watching I'm gonna show you everything today Alright, so since I bleached it here for the first time on my channel, you guys probably already saw that and know that it was not like the perfect bleaching and for the first time at home I think it was never going to be unless you are experienced with bleaching and know exactly how to do it. But I have really dark hair so the first time that you're going to bleach it is going to be a little yellow, especially on the ends of the hair. So just to give you like a background story on it, after I bleached for the first time on that video, I waited an entire month until I bleached my roots and bleached it again on the ends. And that time it really made like a more even bleaching. You're not going to end up with this shade right away, but be patient and you will get there eventually. And then I started trying to toning a lot of the hair on the shower with purple shampoo and also a combo, my regular hair mask with some purple semi-permanent hair dye from Crazy Colors. I was kind of liking how it was going because it was taking the yellows off, but if you follow me on Instagram, you probably noticed that my hair went purple on the last time that I bleached my roots because I added a little bit too much of the purple hair dye and it stained on the roots so I decided to just add even more and get the whole hair purple. The shade it was very very pretty and I used hot purple from Crazy Colors, that's the color that I used. And something weird happened then, because I love the color but it faded out to kind of this turquoise shade. I ended up liking it and a lot of you guys asked me on Instagram how I achieved that color, but it was not a color that I put on myself, it was just like how the purple faded. But yeah, that's it in terms of like the background story of this hair. And now today it's like the results after I bleached my roots yesterday and try to achieve a more like silver color instead of the turquoise one and I really liked how it ended up I want to keep adding the silver I think it's my favorite silver and purple but this time I couldn't go completely purple because I really wanted to, to remove the greenish shade from my hair all right so let's start by watching how I bleached my roots yesterday let's throw the ball to the past me all right so this is me from yesterday as you can see the shade was already a little bit silvery but it had a little more green undertones to it so the roots were like two to three centimeters long already i think it passed almost two months from my last root bleaching and here i was just showing how my hair was lacking some layers so i really wanted to fix that and take a little bit of length away as well because it was getting too long all right so after i showed you the flaws of my hair back then it was time for me to start bleaching the roots and the first thing that i do is to actually separate my hair the black part and the silver part it always gets a little messy and some black hairs are mixed with the silver ones it's not a big deal it won't affect a lot the final result but then i always need to call someone for help for the back part and i usually call my mom and she separates the back for me and I just trust her and then I just take all the black hairs and I put them up on in a bun so classy so stylish and I try to clip all the hairs that I see that are going to be a little loose even my bangs and the next stage was to apply some hair mask and I apply it to the roots of the black hair that are really close with the roots that I want to bleach and it prevents some bleaching to get into that hair all right so we are ready let's mix the product now I always mix this bleaching powder 
whatever that I got. I got like one kilo of it, so it's very cheap. I highly recommend. I'm gonna link them down below. And then I mix it with a 20 volume developer cream. Try to put like almost like the double of the amount of powder in developer. And I just mix it all. It smells really, really bad. And after mixing, it's action time. You just need to apply it to your roots. I apply to the side of my hair, always by myself. And my mom applies to the back. That way I think it's easier because it gets more even. The faster you apply, the better because that way all the hair gets more or less the same bleaching time. I usually just divide it by sections and start applying. And I try to place the bleaching only on the black part of the roots. And since my hair had that green pigment on it from the purple hair dye, I decided to to apply bleaching to the entire silver blonde hair because I really wanted that green pigment out and I thought a little bleaching could help. I even decided to apply a little bit of heat on the ends of the hair to accelerate the process. And this is how it looks after 20 minutes, so I felt like it was time for me to just jump in the shower and I only wash it with shampoo. And here I am after the shower. The green pigment lifted a little bit, but it's still on there it's so stubborn so by this point i knew that i wanted to tone my hair but i also knew that i couldn't tone it all the same shade because it really had different shades in there the roots were really yellow and the bottom part was still a little bit green so I actually did some research on how to take off the green shades and it made sense that you need to put some pink slash red pigment on it to kind of cancel the green pigment and it makes sense if you look at like the color chart. So I decided to use some uh, professional hair colors that I had here. I have this one that it's a 10.12 I think. It's like a silver or platinum blonde. And I also have some pigments of a pink hair dye and blue blue hair dye. I decided to start by mixing the 10 platinum hair pigments with pink pigment and add the tone on tone developer to create a toner for the ends of my hair that were a little bit green so the pink can cancel a little bit of that green and I just decided to apply that to all the hair from the roots down and I just waited a bit to see if it was getting somewhere and I started seeing it turning a little bit more towards silver purplish shades so I was happy with it and I thought it was time for me to start working on my roots so for the roots since they were yellow I couldn't use the same mixture and I decided to mix exactly like I mixed for the rest of the hair but add some blue pigment as well to make kind of a silver purple tone for the roots and I applied that mixture only on the roots. And this is how it looks after a while. You can clearly see that it's getting somewhere. It's getting a little silver and after more or less like 20 to 30 minutes I decided to just go and wash the hair off and this time with shampoo and conditioner. Okay, so here I was taking the towel off to see the disaster. <laughs> no, actually I was pretty happy with it. So now it was time for me to chop my hair and add some layers. So let's go to the final part of the video. I started by brushing it while wet to make sure it's as straight as possible for me to cut it. And then after it's brushed, I will section it to start working on the layers. Just clip the top part so it doesn't get in your way. And what I do is to take piece by piece and just take some inches off with my scissors pointing up. I just go and chop it. I took about like 3 to 4 inches here. And I do this to every piece until all of the hair is more or less the same length. And then what I like to do to create some layers is to divide this section in two sections, top and bottom, and on the top I cut a little bit more than the bottom so it can create a layer and then you do the same with the other side of the section so this is how it looks it was time for me to get more hair so another section and we're going to do the same just take some pieces and take off some length to them and then once again take the top part section within a section and remove even more length from the top part and on this section i'm gonna start grabbing vertically some pieces 
and then I cut it diagonally so it can create almost like a triangle and even out a little bit of the layers. Then it was time for the final section and we are going to do the same thing in cutting diagonally so I can even out the layer. And on the front part I cut a little bit of some framing pieces for the face, I really like it. But yeah, I showed you the entire process and this is the final result of the hair and the layers. I love the silver, I think from all the colors that I tried on this pleat hair dye look, the silver is my favorite and I hope this video really clarifies all of your questions. I'm going to link down below the products that I use. If I missed anything, if there's any doubt, any question that you still have about this hair and the maintenance of it, just let me know down in the comments and if I see it's worth for me to do another video I will do it I just want to give you guys what you want so if you have any questions about it any hair requests just let me know also if you want to follow me on Instagram or TikTok the links are down below on the description as well as my depot because you guys always ask and that's it I guess I see you guys next week thank you so much for watching love you